with the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful. All type of perfect and true praise belongs to Allah alone, the Lord of the worlds, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful, Master of the Day of Requital. You alone do we worship and you alone do we implore for help. Lead us on the exact right path till we reach the goal. The path of those on whom you have bestowed your blessings, those who have not incurred your displeasure, and those who have not gone astray. El Bakara, the cow. Alif Lam Mim. I am Allah, the All Knowing. This is the only perfect book, wanting in naught, containing nothing doubtful, harmful, or destructive. There is no false charge in it. It is a guidance for those who guard against evil. Those who believe in the existence of hidden realities, that which is beyond the reach of human perception and ordinary cognizance, and who observe the prayer and spend on others out of that which we have provided for them, and who also believe in that message which has been revealed to you, and in that which had been revealed before you, and who have firm faith in the hereafter. It is they who follow the guidance from their Lord, and it is they alone who are successful in attaining their object in this life and in the hereafter. As for those who are bent upon denying the truth, they would not believe because it is all the same to them whether you warn them or do not warn them with the result that Allah has set a seal upon their hearts and upon their hearing, and on their eyes is a covering, and a mighty punishment awaits them. There are some people who say, We believe in Allah in the last day, while they are no believers at all. They abandon Allah and those who believe, but they, as a matter of fact, only deprive themselves of the blessings of God, and they do not perceive it. In their hearts was a disease, and Allah has increased their disease. A woeful punishment awaits them because of their persistent lies. When it is said to them, Do not disturb the peace of the land, they say, We are simply setting things right. Beware! They alone are the peace-breakers, but they do not perceive its evil consequences. And when it is said to them, Believe as other people believed, they say, Shall we believe as the weak-minded have believed? Beware! It is they only who are weak-minded, but they do not know. And when they meet those who have believed, they say, we too have believed. But when they are alone with their ringleaders, they say, We are in reality with you. We were simply making light of them. Allah will bring down disgrace upon them and will let them continue in their ways of transgression. They are blindly wandering. It is they who have preferred misguidance to guidance. But their bargain has fetched no profit, nor are they rightly guided. Their case is like the case of a person who kindled a fire in darkness. But no sooner did it light up their surroundings than Allah took away their light and left them in different kinds of darkness, in a state in which they could see nothing. They are deaf, dumb, and blind, so they will not return to the right path. Or the case of some of the hypocrites is, like the case of those who are hit by heavy downpour from the clouds, wherein there are different kinds of darkness, thunder, and lightning. They plug their ears with their fingers against the thunderclaps fearing death, and Allah encompasses the disbelievers to punish them. The lightning, being so intensely dazzling, may well nigh snatch away their sight. As often as it flashes for them, they walk. 
and when it darkens against them, they come to a halt. Indeed, if Allah had so willed, he would have taken away their hearing and their sight. Allah is indeed the possessor of power to do all that he will. O people, worship your Lord who has created you, as well as those before you that you might be secure against all sorts of calamities. It is he who made for you the earth a resting place, and the heaven an edifice for protection, and caused water to pour down from the clouds. Then he brought forth therewith a great variety of fruit for your sustenance. Therefore do not set up compeers to Allah, while you are people of knowledge. And if you have any doubt as to the truthfulness of the Qur'an, which we have revealed to our servant from time to time, produce a single surah like any of the chapters of this, summoning to your assistance all your helpers that you have beside Allah, if you are truthful in your doubts. But if you fail to do so, and never shall you do it, then guard against the fire, the fuel of which will be human beings and stones. It is prepared for the disbelievers. And give good tidings to those who believe and do deeds of righteousness, that there await them gardens from beneath which the streams flow. Every time they are given any kind of fruit from them to eat, they will say, This is the same we were given before. They will be given it in perfect semblance to their deeds. They shall have therein companions purified, and will abide therein for ever. Indeed, Allah does not disdain to cite a parable of a thing even as small as a gnat, or of something smaller than that. Be it as it may, those who have believed know that this is a true parable from their Lord. As for those who disbelieve, they say, What could Allah mean by citing such a parable? Many does he adjudge to be erring because of these parables, and many does he guide through them. Yet it is only the transgressors whom he adjudges to be erring because of them. Transgressors are the people who break the covenant with Allah after its solemn binding, and sever the ties which Allah has bidden to be joined, and create disorder in the land. It is they who are the losers. O people, how can you deny Allah? When you were without life, He gave you life. Then He will cause you to die, and again raise you to life, and you shall be made to return to Him. It is He who created for your benefit all that is in the earth. Moreover, he turned himself towards the space and fashioned seven perfect heavens. He has full knowledge of all things. And recall when your Lord said to the angels, I am, according to my usual practice, going to appoint a supreme religious head in the land to convey my message to human beings and to execute my will in the universe. They said, Will you create also therein? such people as will cause disorder in it and shed blood while we already glorify you with your true praise and extol your holiness? He, God, answered, I know that which you do not know. And he taught Adam the names, all of them. Then he presented the objects of these names to the angels and said, Tell me the names of these things if what you say is right. They said, Glory be to you. We have no knowledge except that which you have given us. You indeed only, you are the all-knowing, the all-wise. He said, Adam, tell them their names. So when he had told them their names, he said, Did I not tell you that indeed I know the hidden realities of the heavens and of the earth, and I know what you reveal? and what you conceal. And recall when we said to the angels, Make obeisance to Adam. 
so they obeyed except Iblis. He refused stubbornly and waxed proud, and he was already one of the disbelievers. And we said, O Adam, dwell you and your wife in this garden and eat freely and plentifully from it as you will. But you shall not go near this tree, lest you should be of the unjust. After some time, the Satan caused them both to slip from this, and thus brought them out of the happy state which they were in. And we said to them, Go forth. Some of you are enemies of others, and for you there is a sojourn in this land and a provision for a time. After that, Adam received from his Lord certain useful commandments, and he turned to him with mercy. He indeed is oft returning with compassion, the ever merciful. We said, Go forth from this state, all of you, and when there comes to you a guidance from me, then those who follow my guidance shall have nothing to fear and nothing to grieve at. And those who disbelieve and belie our messages shall be the inmates of the fire. There they shall abide for long. O children of Israel, remember my blessings which I bestowed upon you and fulfill the covenant you made with me. I shall fulfill the covenant I made with you, and me alone you should hold in awe. And believe in what I have revealed now, confirming the prophecies of the scripture which are already with you, and do not be the first to deny it, neither take a paltry price for my messages, and me alone you should take as a shield for protection. Do not confound the truth with falsehood, nor conceal the truth knowingly. And observe prayer, present zakat, and devote yourselves to the service of one God, along with those who are wholly devoted to the service of one God. How is it that you enjoin others to do good and neglect your own selves while you recite the scripture? Do you not even after reading the scripture abstain from evils? Seek God's help through perfect perseverance and prayer. And this is indeed a very hard thing except for those who are humble, who know for certain that they will meet their Lord and that they will return to him. O children of Israel, remember my blessings which I bestowed upon you, and that I exalted you above your contemporaries. And guard yourself against the agony of the day when no human being shall avail another in any way, nor an intercession be accepted on anyone's behalf, nor any compensation be taken from them, nor will they be helped. And recall when we delivered you from the people of Pharaoh, who subjected you to the worst torment. They went on slaying your sons and sparing your women. And indeed, that was a great ordeal from your Lord. And when we parted the sea for you and rescued you and drowned the people of Pharaoh while you were beholding, and when we made an appointment with Moses, that of spending forty nights on Mount Sinai. Then you took to worship the golden calf in his absence, and you were transgressors in doing so. Yet we pardoned you after that, so that you might give thanks. And recall when we gave Moses the scripture and the discrimination, so that you might be guided aright. And when Moses said to his people, O oh, my people, you have indeed done injustice to your own selves by your taking to the worship of the calf, so you had better turn penitently to your Creator, who gradually evolves you in your being, and kill your ringleaders. That indeed will be best for you in the sight of your Creator. Since you did as you were told, he turned towards you with compassion. Verily, he alone is the oft returning with compassion and is the ever merciful. 
And when you had said, O Moses, we shall by no means believe you unless we see Allah openly face to face. Thereupon the thunderbolt of punishment overtook you, and you were beholding the consequences of your conduct. Then we raised you up after your death-like stupor, so that you might give thanks. Then we outspread the cloud to be a shade over you, and we supplied you manna and quails, saying, Eat of the good things we have provided you. They disobeyed, and by so doing did us no harm, but it is to their own selves that they had been doing harm. And when we said, Enter this near at hand township, and eat from it as you wish, freely, and enter the gate submissively, and go on praying, O Lord, relieve us of the burden of our faults. We shall then protect you against the evil consequences of your faults, and we shall multiply the rewards of those who do good to others. But those who were bent on doing wrong gave a different version to the order that was given them, and thus acted contrary to the divine will. So we sent down upon those who did wrong a pestilence from heaven, because they had been transgressing persistently. And recall the time when Moses prayed for water for his people, and we said to him, Go with your people and smite that particular rock with your staff. So when he did so, there gushed forth from it twelve springs, so that every tribe came to know of its drinking place. We said, Eat and drink of substance provided by Allah, and commit not transgression in the land like peacebreakers. And when you said, Moses, we are weary of one kind of food, so we will not at all remain content with one and the same food. Pray therefore to your Lord for us that he may bring forth for us some of that which the earth produces, of its vegetables, of its cucumbers, its corn, its lentils, and its onions. He, God said, Would you take in exchange that which is inferior for that which is superior? If this is so, then go to some town, and you will certainly have there all that you have demanded. And lo, it so happened that they were smitten with abasement and destitution, and they incurred the displeasure of Allah. That was because they denied the messages of Allah and sought to kill his prophets unjustly, and that was because they disobeyed and had been transgressing. Surely those who profess to believe in Islam and those who follow the Jewish faith, the Christians and the Sabians, whosoever of these truly believes in Allah in the last day and acts righteously shall have their reward with their Lord and shall have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. And recall, O children of Israel, when we took a covenant from you, and it was the time when you were at the foot of Sinai, with the summits of the mount towering above you, saying, Hold fast to what we have given you, and bear in mind that which is in it, so that you may guard against evil. Then even after that you went back upon your covenant. Had it not been for the grace of Allah and his mercy upon you, you would have certainly been of the losers. And indeed you have come to know the end of those of you who transgressed regarding the Sabbath. Thereupon we said to them, Be you as apes, despised. Thus we made this incident an example to learn a lesson from, for those present at the time of its occurrence, and also for those who came after it, and an admonition to all those who guard against evil. Recall when Moses said to his people for their own good, Verily Allah commands you to slaughter a cow. They said, Do you make a mockery of us? He said, I seek refuge with Allah from being one of the ignorant. They said, Pray for us to your Lord to make 
clear to us what kind of a cow it is. He replied, Says he, It indeed is a cow neither too old nor too young, but of middle age in between. Now do as you are commanded. They said, Pray for us to your Lord to make clear to us of what color it is. He replied, says he, It is a cow fawn of color, is intensely rich in tone, very pleasing to the beholders. They said, Pray for us to your Lord uh, to make clear to us what it, this cow in question, is. Uh, definitely like, for all such cows are much alike to us, and we shall indeed, if Allah will, be guided to the right goal. He said, He, God says, it is indeed a cow neither broken in to plow the land nor to water the tillage, perfectly sound without any blemish, no spot on her. They said, now you have, after all, brought the exact truth. So they slaughtered her, though they had no mind to do it. And recall also, when you had nearly killed a man, then you differed among yourselves respecting it. And Allah will bring to light that which you had been hiding. So we said, Judge it in the context of its other circumstances. That is how Allah brings the dead to life, and He shows you His signs so that you may refrain from evil. Then your hearts hardened after that, so that they were hard like rocks, or harder still. For there are rocks out of which streams come gushing forth, and there are some others out of which some water comes forth when they split asunder. And indeed, there are some hearts that humble themselves for awe of Allah. And Allah is not at all unmindful as to what you do. Do you, O Muslims, expect that they will believe you while you see there are some of them who hear the word of Allah and then tamper with it after having fully understood it, and they know that this way of theirs is wrong? And when they meet those who believe, they say, We too have believed. But when they go apart one with another, they say, Do you inform them what Allah has disclosed to you? That they thereby, availing themselves of it, may prevail upon you in argumentation on the authority of your Lord? Will you not then use your reasoning power? Do they not know that Allah knows all they conceal and all that they make known? And some among them are illiterate, who do not know the scripture except cramming it up and are doing nothing but making conjectures. Woe therefore to those who write the scripture with their own hands and then say, This is from Allah. They do so that they may thereby acquire some paltry gains. Woe to them for what their hands have written, to give them out as word of God. Again we say, woe to them for what they do of evil deed. In spite of their evil doings, they say, the fire of punishment shall not touch us except for a few days. Say, have you taken a promise for unconditional salvation from Allah? If you have, then Allah will never go back upon his promise. But is it not a fact that you attribute to Allah things you do not know? The truth is that those who do evil and who are encompassed by their sins are the inmates of the fire, and therein they shall abide for long. But those who believe and do deeds of righteousness it is they who are the owners of paradise. Therein they shall abide forever. And recall when we took a covenant from the children of Israel. You shall worship none except Allah and do good to your parents and to the near of kin and the orphans and the poor as well. 
and you shall speak kindly to all people, and observe prayer, and present purifying alms. But afterwards you all turned away and broke your covenant, except a few of you, and you are averse to guidance and ways of virtue. And recall when we took a covenant from you, you shall not shed each other's blood, and you shall not expel your people from your homes. Then you confirmed it, promising to abide by it, and you witnessed the covenant. Yet you are the very people who, violating the terms of the covenant, slay your own people and expel a section from among you from their homes, backing up one another against them sinfully and transgressingly. And if they come to you as captives, seeking your help, you ransom them, while their very expulsion was forbidden to you. Do you believe only in a part of the scripture, while a part you deny? What is the recompense of those among you who act like that, except disgrace in this life? And on the day of resurrection, they shall be given over to the severest chastisement. And Allah is not at all unmindful as to what you do. It is they who have taken the present life in preference to the hereafter. Therefore the agony shall not be reduced for them, nor shall they be helped in any other way. Indeed, we gave Moses the scripture and sent messengers after him in successive series. We also gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear arguments, and strengthened him with the blessed word of God. Is it not then unjust on your part, that whenever a messenger came to you, O Jews, with that teaching which did not suit your fancies, you behaved arrogantly? You belied some messengers, while others you seek to kill even now. They said, Our hearts are storehouses of knowledge, so that we stand in no need of further teaching. Rather, Allah has deprived them of his mercy for their disbelief, with the result that little they believe. And now, when there has come to them the glorious book from Allah, fulfilling that prophecy which is already with them, and previous to that, they had been praying for victory over those who disbelieved. Yet, when that long-awaited prophet and the Qur'an came to them, which they recognized also to be the truth, they disbelieved in it. And because of this rejection, the disapproval of Allah is the due for the disbelievers. Evil is that thing they have sold themselves for, that they should reject that source of guidance which Allah has revealed grudging that Allah should send down his grace on such of his servants as he pleases. Thus they have incurred his displeasure after displeasure. There awaits these disbelievers a humiliating punishment. When it is said to them, Believe in that which Allah has sent down, they say, We believe only in that which has been sent down to us and they deny everything other than that, and which has since been revealed, though it, the Qur'an, is the lasting truth, and corroborates that which is already with them in their own scriptures. Say, why then did you seek to kill the prophets of Allah in former times if you were real believers? Moses did come to you with clear arguments, yet you took to the worship of the calf in his absence and you were not justified in doing so. And recall when we took a covenant from you, while you had encamped at the foot of Sinai, with the summits of the mount towering above you. And we had said, Hold fast to that which we have given you, and obey. But those of you who were given this commandment said, We hear, and we disobey. Their hearts were, in fact, permeated with the love of the calf, due to their disbelief. Say, evil is the way to which your faith leads you if you are believers at all. Say, 
if the last abode with Allah is especially reserved for you, excluding all other people, then invoke death upon yourself, standing against the Prophet of Islam, if you are on the right. But never shall they invoke it on account of that which their own hands have sent before. Allah knows these wrongdoers very well. And you shall of course find them the greediest of all people for this base life, and even more greedy than those who set up equals to God. Each one of them would love to be granted a life of a thousand years, yet his being spared for a long life shall, by no means, keep him away from the punishment. And Allah is watchful of all their doings. Say, he who is an enemy to Gabriel, because it is he who has brought down this Qur'an on your heart by the command of Allah, and which confirms the scriptures which preceded it, and it is a guidance and good tidings to the believers. Let him bear in mind that whoever is an enemy to Allah, and his angels, and his messengers, and Gabriel, and Michael, then of course Allah himself is an enemy to such disbelievers. And we indeed have sent down to you clear arguments which none but the disobedient reject. Is it not a fact that every time they made a covenant, some of them cast it away? Rather, most of them have no true faith. And now, when a great messenger has come to them from Allah, confirming that scripture which is with them, a party of those who were given the scripture cast away the book of Allah behind their backs as if they know it not. Moreover, they pursue the same tactics which the rebels had followed against the empire of Solomon. And it was not Solomon that had committed breach of faith, but it was the rebels that had committed breach of faith. They, the Jews of Medina, teach the people the modes of intriguing and also pursue that which had once been revealed to the two angels, Harut and Marut in Babylon. But these two would not teach anything to anyone without first declaring, We are but a trial for you here. Do not therefore commit breach of faith. So they, the followers of Harut and Marut, learnt from them that teaching by which they made a distinction between man and his wife. Yet they would not harm anyone thereby, by their practice, save by the command of Allah. But these people are learning things that would harm them and do them no good. They do it even though they know that he who adopts this course will have no share of good in the hereafter. Indeed, evil is that thing which they have sold themselves for, had they but known this fact. And if these Jews had kept their faith and guarded against these evils, surely they would have received a better reward from Allah, had they but known it. O oh, you who believe, say not while addressing the prophet, Ra'ina, listen to us. A word used for showing disrespect for the person addressed. Rather say an equivocal phrase, Unzurna. We beg your attention, and listen to him attentively, that you stand not in need of any such phrases that have double meanings, one in a good sense, the other in a bad one. Indeed, there awaits the disbelievers a grievous punishment. Neither those from among the people of the scripture who disbelieved, nor the polytheist, like that any good should be sent down to you from your Lord. But Allah singles out for his mercy whomsoever he wishes, and Allah is of abounding bounty. Whatever message we abrogate or abandon it, we bring a better message than that, or at least the like of it. Do you not know that Allah is indeed possessor of power to do all he will? Do you not know that to Allah alone belongs the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth, and that you have, apart from Allah, neither a protecting friend nor a helper. 
Rather, you, Jews, like to question your messenger unduly, as Moses was questioned before. And he who adopts disbelief instead of belief had undoubtedly strayed from the straight direction of the path. Many of the people of the scripture would love to turn you back after your having believed into disbelievers out of selfish envy and after the truth of this Quran has become apparent to them. But pardon them and overlook until Allah shall make manifest his will. Indeed, Allah is possessor of every power to do all he will. And observe the prayer and present the zakat and whatever good you send forward for yourselves, you will find it with Allah. Verily, Allah is watchful of all that you do. And they, the Jews and the Christians, say respectively about themselves, None shall ever enter paradise unless he be a Jew or a Christian. These are their wishful beliefs. Say, bring forth your vivid proof of what you state if you are right. The truth of the matter is, whosoever submits himself entirely to Allah, and he is a doer of good to others, shall have his reward with his Lord. They shall have nothing to fear and nothing to grieve at. The Jews say, the Christians have no valid ground whatsoever for their belief. While the Christians assert, the Jews have no valid ground at all for their belief. While they both read the same scripture, exactly such ill-founded things say those who have no knowledge. But Allah shall judge between them on the day of resurrection with regard to all that about which they had been disagreeing. And who can be more unjust than those who prohibit the name of Allah from being extolled in any of his houses of worship and strive to ruin them? It was not proper for such ever to enter these places except in fear and awe. For them is disgrace in this world, and there awaits them a severe punishment in the hereafter. And to Allah belongs the East and the West. So whichsoever way you may turn, you will find there is Allah's attention. Surely Allah is all-pervading, all-knowing. Moreover, they, the unjust people, say, Allah has taken to himself a son. Glory be to him. Rather, all that is in the heavens and the earth belongs to him. All are obedient to him. God is the wonderful originator, without depending upon any matter or pattern of the heavens and the earth. And when he issues a decree, he does but say to it, Be, and it comes to be. And those who do not know the wisdom implied in divine revelation say, Why does not Allah himself speak to us or give us a convincing sign? That is exactly what their predecessors had said. Their hearts have become very much alike. We have certainly made our signs explicitly clear for a people who wish to be convinced. Verily, we have sent you to serve all their requirements as a bearer of good tidings and a warner, and you will not be called upon to account for the inmates of the flaming fire. And the Jews will never be pleased with you, nor the Christians, unless you follow their creed. Say, Allah's guidance is the only perfect and true guidance. If you were to follow their low desires, after there has come to you this perfect knowledge, you shall have from Allah neither a protecting friend nor any helper. They, the true Muslims to whom we have given the book, Follow it as it deserves to be followed. It is they who truly believe in it. And whoso does not believe therein, these are they who are the utter losers. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I conferred upon you, and that I exalted you above all your contemporaries. And guard yourselves against the agony of the day, 
when in no being shall avail another in any way, nor any compensation be accepted on any one's behalf, nor any intercession shall be profitable to any one, nor they shall be helped. Recall when his Lord put Abraham to test with certain commandments, so he carried them out. God said, Verily, I will make you an imam, a religious leader, for the good of the people. Abraham said inquiringly, And from among my progeny, too, do you promise to raise leaders? God said, Yes, but my covenant does not embrace the wrongdoers. And when we made the house, the Kaaba at Mecca, a frequent resort for people and a place of peace and security, and we commanded, Take to yourselves the place of Abraham for a center and face towards it during prayer. And we enjoined Abraham and Ismail, Purify and clean my house for those who perform the circuit around it and those who cleave to it for devotion and for those who bow down before Allah and prostrate to him in prayer. And when Abraham said, praying, My Lord, make this Mecca, a city of peace, and provide its inhabitants, such of them who believe in Allah in the last day, with fruits. God said, And on him too who disbelieves, I will bestow favors for a little while. Then I will drive him to the punishment of the fire. What an evil end! And when Abraham raised the foundations of the house and Ismail with him, and they were praying, Our Lord, accept this service from us. You indeed, you are the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our Lord, make us both submissive servants to you alone, and raise from our progeny a community submissive and preaching virtue and submissiveness to you, and show us our ways of worship and turn to us with mercy. For only you are the oft returning with compassion, the ever merciful. Our Lord, do raise among them a great messenger from among themselves, who may recite to them your messages and teach them the book and wisdom, and may purify them. You indeed, you are the Almighty, the All Wise. And who will show aversion to Abraham's creed except he who has befooled himself? We did make him our chosen one in this world, and surely he in the hereafter will surely be counted among the righteous. When his Lord said to him, Submit, he said, I have already submitted to the Lord of the worlds. The same faith did Abraham enjoin upon his sons, and so did Jacob, saying, My sons, surely Allah has chosen you for this faith. See that when you die, you are in a state of complete submission according to his will. Were you present when death visited Jacob, and when he said to his sons, What God will you worship after me? They replied, We will worship your God, the God of your fathers, Abraham, Ismael, and Isaac, the only one God, and to him do we submit ourselves. This was a community preaching righteousness, which has passed away. For them is the fruit of what good deeds they performed, while for you is the reward of what noble deeds you perform. You will not be called upon to account for their deeds. And they, the Jews and the Christians respectively, said, Be Jews or be Christians, then you shall be on the right course. Say, Nay, but ours is the faith of Abraham, the upright, and he was not of the polytheists. Say, We believe in Allah and in that which has been revealed to us. And what was revealed to Abraham and Ismail and Isaac and Jacob and his children, and what was given to Moses and Jesus, and we believe in what was given to all other prophets from their Lord. 
we, while believing in them, make no discrimination between any one of them, and to him do we submit ourselves entirely. Now if they believed just as sincerely as you have believed in this Qur'an, then of course they are guided aright. But if they turn back, then they are only in schism and fighting against the truth. In that case, Allah will surely suffice you against them, for He is the All-Hearing, the All-Knowing. Assume the hues and the attributes of Allah, and who is fairer than Allah's hues and attributes? We are His worshippers ever. Say, do you dispute with us with regard to Allah, while He is our Lord and your Lord as well? We shall be judged by our deeds and you by your deeds, and to Him alone are we sincerely devoted. Do you, O Jews and the Christians, say that Abraham, Ismail, Isaac, Jacob, and his children were Jews or Christians? Say, have you then greater knowledge, or is it Allah who knows better? And who is more unjust than he who conceals the testimony he has from Allah? And Allah is not at all unaware of what you do. These are a community preaching righteousness that have passed away. For them is the good fruit of what good deeds they performed, while for you is the reward of what good and noble deeds you performed, and you shall not be called to account for their deeds.